did that come from? It's nanotech, you like it? I definitely like the nanotech. It is really, really cool. Nano means 10 to the negative 9th, which is really, really small. Like, that's like comparing the size of a marble to the size of the Earth. As objects get really big or really small, the laws of physics governing them actually slightly change. Strength of material, melting points, even the color will actually change depending on what kind of scale you're working with, like nano, regular, or like astronomical. When objects get smaller, their surface area to volume ratio really increases. And why that's important is because the more area you have, there's more room for contact with other materials for more chemical reactions to occur. Not only more room, the reactions will actually occur faster. So when we see Tony like rapidly creating and destroying these new like technologies with the nanoparticles, it will happen that quickly. One of the signs a chemical reaction has taken place is a color change. What we see here is that the Iron Man suit is primarily red, but the sword that Tony Stark's make is gold. And funny enough, if you look at gold with the naked eye, it has the iconic shine to it, but when you break gold down into its nanoparticles, it actually appears red, or sometimes purple. One thing to note here is that mass is not changing. Like, no matter where the particles move, the overall mass of his suit will not be affected. I mean, the distribution of mass will definitely change. Like, if you have, like, a shield in one place, or if you're doing, like, the booster rockets, then most of the mass is at your feet instead of, like, to the torso. This is outlined very well in the movie because as the number of nanoparticles Tony Stark has access to decreases, parts of his suit are vanishing as well. Solid nanomaterials will actually behave like liquids if you group them all together, and you can easily see this on the beach. Like, if you go and you just fill a bucket full of sand, and you're pouring the sand out, the way the sand is pouring out of the bucket is the same way that water would pour out of that same bucket. Now imagine taking that sand and making Excalibur with it. <laughs> that's, that's basically what he's doing right now. The big question is, can he make the diversity of objects from the nanoparticles that he does in the movie? Like a sword, a shield, booster rockets, like stronger guns, and as far as I understand, no. You cannot do that. The nanotechnology today serves one purpose only as it was programmed for initially. What I mean by that is the nanoparticles that you use in scanning electron microscopes cannot be the same ones that you use to clean up oil spills in the ocean. Whenever Elon Musk feels like making an Iron Man suit and turning it into a nanoparticle like masterpiece, he'll do it whenever he feels like it, but as of right now, each nanoparticle or group of nanoparticles that you program can only be used to serve one purpose. One of the bigger issues with the nanotechnology as being used by Iron Man or Tony Stark is breathing. Like, you, as silly as it sounds, you don't want to breathe in these nanoparticles. And because they're so small, and especially like it, here, like Tony is constantly changing shapes of the Iron Man suit to whatever he needed to be. But the more you make like alternate shapes, the more the nanoparticles are moving, the higher the chances you have of breathing those particles in. And again, the arc reactor was killing him and he found a way to get around that. So I'm sure there are ways of going around the nanoparticles, like entering your body. One of the criticisms that I do have here is how the nanoparticles are housed. You can't keep them all in like one block on your chest because they're not being created as they disperse around his body to make the Iron Man suit. They're all already in one place. So that one spot is gonna be very, very heavy. I don't think he can just walk around with it like as casually as he is right now. It would make far more sense for Tony to like put like a backpack or some sort of vest on him because this is not possible. There's no way that you can have all those nanoparticles and have all that mass held in one place and then just be casual about it. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I loved watching this movie. It's my favorite Avengers or Marvel movie they've made so far. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay fresh and stay golden.